information today, and there's no decision made today. Mm. That, that makes you feel better, doesn't it? No. No. Today was about the kids who showed up at the Brez to learn from Tom and his camp staff. It's middle school kids, it's high school kids who attend this basketball camp each and every year. Action News reporter Mary Conway was there to see and watch Tom interact with those youngsters. And Mary joins us live from East Lansing with the latest on the camp and the Cavs job as you see Tom Izzo behind her. Mary. Yeah, absolutely, Don. That's what we wanted to start and show you that he was outside talking to the parents of some of the camp participants. Some of the media members ran up to him as soon as they realized that he was out here. But it has been all about the kids today. He's been keeping the media at bay all afternoon. In fact, one of the kids even asked him if he'd had his decision yet. And he said, ah, nah, bad question. Here, take a listen. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. For Tom Izzo, today is all about the kids. 500 boys from 9 to 17 attending his youth basketball camp. Even his son Stephen is in the camp. His wife Lupe was here as well. One of the participants asked what everyone wants to know. Is Tom going to the Cleveland Cavaliers or staying at MSU? No, it's bad. Those guys up there want to Izzo kiddingly replies, bad question, and points to the media, saying they want to know that. Coach Izzo could be seen coming and going throughout the day, but no indication of his decision on Dan Gilbert's offer of $6 million a year. People sending the boys to the camp say he's the heart of the program. He really is the nucleus of the program. Um, it's why you want to send your child here, because they just had a nice program, always. A number of the players are assisting with the camp, like Delvon Rowe and Austin Thornton. The wait is tough on everyone. It is kind of like scary because he's never taken this long to make that decision, you know, and um, it kind of makes me think that he is going to leave, but yeah, whatever. I mean, if he, if he wants to leave and if it's, that's what's best for him, then, I mean, he'll still be here in heart, so... And I think that's what's really special about this. People really do want the best for Tom Izzo and his family. Whatever he decides, a lot of people are really hoping that he stays here. But they want the very best for him because they say he has raised this program to such a level that they would always hold him dear in their hearts because he has really turned this into such a huge program. Reporting live in East Lansing, Don, back to you. Mary, go grab him. Don't let him leave. <laughs> go grab him right now. Yank him in front of the camera. Tell him you want to talk to him and I want to talk to him. Don't let him get away. We've been trying, believe me. I do, I believe really been you. pretty good-natured about this, but, uh, yeah, it was really cool that he came out to talk to well, the That's pretty tempting. Well. He's like 50 feet away and you can't this. talk to him. <laughs> that is really frustrating, you know? Yes. I feel for Mary. Of course, because <laughs> you know she's been hollering questions at him. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. It, yeah, and he's not answering. All right. Okay, Don, we'll talk to you later.